Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I want to continue our conversation about the black church. Although at one point we did use the church as a place of conjuring or a place of worship, the spirit left the church when it started operating more as a corporation. There's a lot of politics that happens in the black church that a lot of y'all don't know about. A lot of y'all think that the pastor is preaching what he heard from the Lord when really he's under contract. When your church is under a denomination, those denominations tell you what you're supposed to be preaching. And if you don't follow it, they vote you out of your position. You think that the pastor has the final say-so, but really he answers to like the superintendent or the bishop or whoever else. They all go to conferences together and they meet on these Zoom calls to discuss the syllabus of things that everybody's going to be preaching about. Now, the delivery of the sermons is based on the pastor's personality and his mood. Now, there are some pastors that preach a word from the Lord, but you're not going to see too many of them. A lot of the pastors that wanted to avoid being controlled ended up going non-denominational. But don't think that the pastors that went non-denominational ain't crooked. A lot of them are in secret societies and they fraternize with these corrupt people. Now, the oppressors saw the amazing influence that the black church had on our people. One thing about our people is that we respect our church leaders and we are very loyal to them. The pastor could be preaching, Jack and Jill went up the hill, and they still going to have people in the audience talking about amen and hallelujah. So even though the pastor's words don't make a lot of sense, Black people are still inclined to support that pastor anyways and to be very forgiving if he does anything that's out of order. Now, a corporation's main job is to make money. And one of the things that negatively affected the church's money is deliverance. So the church only makes a lot of money when the people are struggling. So they went on various campaigns to discourage people from getting their deliverance. This is why they preached against folk traditions such as hoodoo, because people were getting healed. And they had no need to keep coming back to the church to keep donating their money. People only spend their money when something is wrong. The pastor's job became all about making you feel guilty for using your own access to God. They told y'all folk traditions were evil and that you had to come to the altar at the church to get your deliverance. He got y'all defenseless. He got y'all showing up to church just to praise your way through when that ain't doing nothing. You showing up to church just to do your Holy Ghost dance when really all of that is designed to keep putting your money back into the church. The Bible does not speak against folk traditions. It's the pastors that speak against them. And the only reason why he doesn't care is because he sees you as somebody that doesn't pay their tithes and offering. Now, there's nothing wrong with going to the church. People go to church for different reasons. Maybe your pastor tends to be inspirational. Some people go just to socialize. And some people go just because they want to sing in a choir. If you're getting something out the church, I'm not here to discourage you from going. But being healed, set free, and delivered is not likely to happen. And this is for those people that was on my YouTube talking about how I'm talking about witchcraft. Look, conjuring and folk traditions are not witchcraft. And I'm not about to argue with you on this. Witchcraft is what your pastor is doing to y'all. He on the pulpit talking about God told him this and that when God ain't told him nothing. He playing in your face and he just repeating what money hungry people then told him to say. And he tries to use Bible scriptures to support what he's doing. Just because he used a Bible scripture doesn't mean that God told him to do that. Witchcraft is manipulation. It plays tricks on the mind. Now I'm coming out and telling you what this is and what it ain't. I'm making it black and white. Now, if you don't like that, then my content is probably not for you. So if you think I'm trying to push witchcraft on y'all, you just proved my point.